Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have before you one of the cheapest pickup trucks you can buy today. And surprisingly, it doesn't look like a work truck either. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. If you would like to purchase this truck, it is available. Let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker and I'll show you guys around this truck. At the very top are the specs for this pickup. And then you guys can see the base price here. And then here is all the standard equipment. Be sure to pause it. And then the options start down below here with the paint and then the Warlock package that continues at the very top here. And then this has the Tradesman Level 1 Equipment Group and a few other things down below. Destination comes in at $19.95 with a total price of $51,545. And then here's the Philly comment numbers on the side. And if you are in the market, like I said, this truck is available and they have it priced at $45,770. Whenever I see the Ram Warlock. I always think of the Dakota. That's why I titled the video the way I did. This should be the Dakota, honestly. V6 engine, and it has like a really cool sporty design. Now, with the Warlock package, you guys can see it does black out the headlights. They are gonna be halogen incandescent bulbs. So a lot of modifications you can do here. Halogen fog lights, and they give you like this gloss matted front bumper. Recovery hooks are right there. Gloss black for the grill and it does have a really nice appearance. But because this truck is a work truck, there's no front cameras, there's no parking sensors, and who needs all that stuff anyways? Love the overall design in the front hood too. And then off to the side, you guys can see, they give you a black appearance on the wheel, which kind of matches the front bumper. 18 inch wheels, Goodyear Wrangler dirt track is the tire, and the tire size is right here. LT275-7018. Independent front suspension and you guys can see that this truck does have Billistine. So we got to drive this truck today for sure Here's the mirrors Door handles no smart key system on this build either and you have that plastic here and also on the door handles I Like that it has the quad cab normally it would give you suicide doors in the past But they give you an actual door now getting in and out of this truck is gonna be a little tough Let's Start one more time so you do have a little bit of storage under the seat. It's not um, divided out for you, but you can still put stuff under the seat here. Getting in and out, they do give you a grab handle. And you guys can pretty much tell, if you are tall like I am, you're not going to drive back here, but they do give you some air vents. And this cab is overall a decent size. I can scoot this chair up a lot more and still be comfortable. They do give you the tilt headrest and Power windows, power door locks are obviously going to be a part of this package too. This is where you're going to fill up at. Solid axle out back. You're going to have coil springs, which is pretty typical with Ram trucks. Love the LED tail lights, full LED. And you have blind spot monitoring built into them too. No parking sensors. You have LED license plate lights, which is not normally seen on these type of trucks. They do provide a light here for your conventional hitch, which is a class four. They give you a steely for your spare tire. And surprisingly, they have a assisted tailgate too. No bed lights out back, but you have a sliding glass. And this is really lightweight. Backup camera, blackout for the badges out back. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and talk about this e-torque system with the V6. One thing I like about this truck is they give you the struts for the hood, really nice. I've had about four vehicles that had the 3.6 liter Pentastar. And if you add up all the miles on all of them, I've probably put about a half a million miles on Pentastars, no problems. Now this one has the mild hybrid system known as the E-Torque. So they give you this generator in place of the alternator. This engine is gonna put out 305 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque. It is made it to an eight-speed transmission known as the 850RE. It's basically the same transmission and the Grand Cherokees with the V6 as well. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. You have to admit, Ram has done a great job with their interiors. Now, this is a completely plastic door. There is no soft touch at all. And that's because this is a tradesman, it's a work truck. However, 
power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, and mainly operated seat, but I like the overall design. Like this truck has a really nice appearance overall. Telescoping steering wheel, automatic headlights, electronic parking brake, and then grab handles right here to help you get in. Let's go ahead and start it up. Push button start, come standard. And I love the information that they give you in this seven inch screen here. So you can pretty much change out some of the stuff that you see right now currently. And they give you these arrows to control it. So if you go down, you can see your vehicle information. So it gives you your tire pressure, coolant, transmission temp, oil temp, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, and then here's your gauge summary. Gives you all your temperatures. A lot of manufacturers do not do this, even for the HDs, and Ram does it for their half tons. Here's your engine hours right here, and it goes back to the beginning. You have fuel economy, I love the overall layout of that too. Trip information, trip A and trip B. Down below, you have your stop start, so it shows you why the system's not coming on. So it's because my seatbelt's not on. And that's pretty much it. You can set up the screen however you like. Now this is your eight inch screen here. You can pretty much see you can customize it. If you want full screen, you just hit the top left corner there. It takes you to your audio. Now you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So if you need navigation, you do have that option to hook up down below here. You have two Type A's and Type C's and aux in the center there. A little bit of storage above the screen with a 12 volt right there. Now you have a backup camera as you guys saw, you can zoom into it, very clear too. It looks like a 4K camera for sure. And if you want to set up the screen, you have a bunch of prompts here on the side. And here's everything you can do. You can also swipe with your finger on the right side there. You have your single climate control, you can turn the screen off if you don't want it on. Traction control, tow haul mode, a little bit of storage down here as well, and they give you a power plug like your home on the right side now the center console they give cup holders and a little bit of storage here place for a pin now they have this so you can put your phone right there right and so you can run the wires for like a type a USB and if you need that extra passenger this is a six passenger a little bit of storage below the seat if you need to hide some stuff but overall a really nice cab open storage up the top and then you have that down below let's go ahead and check out the rear no vanities on this side but they do provide one on this side it's not illuminated though one last thing too is you can slide that rear glass sunglass holder right there incandescent bulbs for the interior I did move the seat up just slightly to see if I can fit behind myself and yeah I can so I definitely can still fit back here. Let's go ahead and take this truck for a quick drive. Today will be my first time actually driving this truck on the highway. I haven't really driven these trucks in the past just because they're kind of rare. But man, at low speeds, maneuvering this truck is really easy. The Bilstein shocks work great on this truck. I mean, this is a half ton, so already it's gonna have a softer ride compared to what you see on, you know, your HD trucks like that. They give you a convex, which is nice and handy to give it to you on both sides. You have heated mirrors. So they do a good job overall with the Ram trucks. One thing I like about the stop start on this truck is, is it doesn't like make your head bounce basically. Like it's really smooth. And in the past, I used to always disable it on my Grand Cherokees because they came standard with it. So because I didn't have the e-torque system, it just didn't seem fluid. It was just too um, obnoxious when you started again. And sometimes on one of my Jeeps, it would turn off. So I would just disable it every time. But this is a very smooth truck. Like if you just need a truck to get around town with, if you just have a small trailer that you move around here every once in a while, this is a really nice pickup truck. I mean, 51,000 MSRP. You can probably get this truck for in the low 40s when it's all said and done. Brake fill is really good and yeah it's quiet like the v6 it doesn't have that burly v8 sound but it's enough to you know keep you happy it's not a not a four-cylinder <laughs> so 
so it has a nice sound to it. But let's go ahead and hop on the highway and I'll show you guys some acceleration. So here's some quick acceleration. It's definitely slow. Uh, 305 horsepower, 273 pound foot of torque. That's just, that's very mediocre. Um, I think that Chevy with the 2.7 liter turbocharged engine that they have, it would outrun this truck for sure. But you know, at the end of the day, it is nice to know that you can get decent fuel economy with these smaller pickup trucks. I mean, the numbers on the door, what are they? I think 21 combined is what I saw. So 24 on the highway, 19 city, that's not too bad. That's pretty good numbers there, but overall, nice truck. Here are the numbers on the door. The gross axle weight rating up front is gonna be 3,900 pounds. The rear is 4,100 pounds. Gross fuel weight rating is gonna be 6,800 pounds. And this truck has a total payload of 1,656 pounds. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure your bell notification are on. See you guys soon.